Welcome to our channel! You might know me from my YouTube channel, RubyRose UK. If you haven't already, please go and smash that subscribe button. It would make my day. The link will be in the description down below. Please go check it out. So this is our first video, guys. And in this video, we are going to be doing a Jelly Cube Slime Challenge. How this challenge works, we'll be given two bags. One of them will contain real magic erasers and other slime supplies. And the next one will contain a cheap sponge and other cheap slime supplies. The only thing that remains the same with both bags is the glue and activator. Once we've got the bags, got to decide whether we want to keep or switch them. We're going to test out if the real expensive magic erasers are better than the cheap sponges for jelly cube slime. Now we're going to be given the bags that contain cheap slime supplies and expensive ones to make jelly cube slime. So let's get started. Okay, so since I picked whether to switch or keep, I'm gonna open my bag first. I'm excited. Yeah. I think I got the cheap one. <laughs> that means I got the expensive one. Yeah. So this is the first thing. It's makeup sponges. And my mum told me that the first cheap one was from Pound World. So the next thing I've got is bicarbonate of soda because you need this to activate slime. The next thing I've got is some Pritstick PVA glue. And lastly, I've got activator, so I can turn it into slime. So this is what I got, and now onto rubies. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. I got the magic sponge lasers. And we've been looking for these, so we found them. My mum just told me they're from Hobbycraft, so if you want to get them, they're from Hobbycraft. Next one. Right. So I got the fit stick that Bailey got, the clear glue. Same glue as me. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah, it's all clear. I didn't realise it was clear. <laughs> then I got the bicarbonate of soda, which is a different one. It's the more expensive bicarbonate of soda one. And then... Oh. <laughs> then we have the contact lens solution. <laughs> Actually, it's eye wash. But they're my things. So let's get on with the slime. I'm excited. Let's put our glue in. It's so clear. <coughs> yeah, I think that's all we can get out if you put all yours in. Yeah. I'm not going to stir it so I can keep less bubbles. Actually, out. yeah. But now we're going to activate it. And you have to do a pinch of bicarbonate. It doesn't have to be very activated, otherwise the bits won't stick in. Whenever I mix bicarbonate of soda in slime, I always feel like it goes different for a second, but that might just be me. Okay, I'm ready to activate mine now. Same. <gasps> Look at this mini bottle. These are three pound leather eye washes, and I use this in my other video, so go check it out if you haven't, and I thought they were really good as well. I'm gonna fill it up to the line. That's like, it's really cool that it's got a cap. Mm-hmm. I'm scared. Now let's stir it. I'm scared. Let's do this. It's activating. Oh yeah, it's really activating. I hope it's not over activating. Yeah, same. Like it looks like it activates quite quickly. Get it all off the sides. It's starting to come off the sides. So with one thing, it's already coming off. Mine's already off the sides. I'm gonna put my hand in. No, I, I'm not. You probably have much more sense then. Yeah, I was about to. No, it's all over my hand. Not putting my hands up, I'm just getting. No, I got the other one dirty. Would you mind putting half a cap in for me? Half? Yeah, like half of that. Just enough to get it off my hands. Thank you. Well, so much for just being clear. Mine's good. I am not going to make the same mistake of touching this next time. Actually, yeah, I'm about to touch it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to add a bit more. Okay, I just put uh, like half a cap full in. I've gone back to peeling it off with my hands. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do it with my hands now. I feel like it's ready. Okay, mine's literally finished. It's so stretchy, but it's still a teeny bit sticky. This is mine. It's basically finished and it's a little bit sticky, which is really good. For jelly cube slime, the slime has to be a little bit sticky. When mine's done, it is still a bit sticky, but this is a slime. It is a really nice slime. Hey guys! <laughs> so now we're both done, and this is the slimes. Mine is still sticky and I think Same. yours is as well, so yeah. that's a good sign, so it's not overdone. And this is a really nice slime. <laughs> Can we feed each other's? Okay, there you go. 
Yours is probably stickier than mine. Ooh! They feel the same. It feels different. I think mine was better. We don't know which one's better. <laughs> now we're going to cut up our sponges and magic erasers, so let's do it. I don't think these are going to need cutting too much because they're already in pieces. I think these are because they are like... They're in squares. That's four. I'll see how much I need. I'm going to start with one though. I pulled all mine in so I can like pick the ones I want. So I don't think I'm going to have circles in this line. They're different shapes. These feel like beauty sponges. <laughs> they are. They feel completely different to yours because yours are like squishy. I don't like the feeling of it. So I think I'm going to cut here like that bit. So it makes as much of a square as I can get. I'm just cutting mine to smaller sizes. I'm not sure how big that's supposed to be, but I think I'm only going to use this much. I've got, this is one. I think I'm almost finished. <laughs> that feels cool. Yeah, they do. I feel yeah. weird. So I've just cut up all of my beauty sponges and this is how much I got. They feel a lot like beauty blenders, but a bit softer. Mine, I only used one block and it went up to all of these and the difference with these two is this one is way more squidgy and this one feels like more hard, you know? This one is more peachy colour and this one's white but they're kind of the differences and I like the feeling of that better but these are the actual things used for Jelly Cube Slime so... These were so much more expensive, they cost £4.50 and they only cost £1. So we're going to put our sponges and beauty things in and this slime's really sticky so Ready? I'm trying to make it flat. Ready, really? Okay. Let's pull them. Pulled them all in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> point. Whoa, this is cool. I know, I made Jenny keep slime. I'm putting them all in the middle. I know. Pull them over. Wow. That is so cool. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. This feels really nice, I've got to say. Feels very. Oh gosh, yours looks really cool. This is so crunchy. It's so crunchy with it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try and pull one out and see if it does that cool thing. It's so crunchy with these sponges in. No, no, it's not crunchy. Pull it up, quick. Ah! Ah! Mine is set back. <laughs> one sec, guys. But our mum just got us some food trays because Ruby's slime got stuck <laughs> to the tablecloth. Should we feel each other's? Yeah, let's feel each other's. Okay. I'm really curious to see what the magic erasers feel like. Let's go. What? Whoa. Whoa. This is different. This is different. Let me do that cool thing. It worked! I can't do it. I don't think it works with that one. That's what it's meant to do. So when you do do that with the little magic erasers, it kind of flattens them. So you can't do it twice. I like mine. I like them for different reasons. I think Same. that one's good if you can't find magic erasers. And I think that this one's a bit more stretchy than mine. But that's to do with the slime. <laughs> I think that they're both pretty good. And literally, I didn't think these would actually work as well. But they're actually quite mm -hmm. good. So overall, I think I prefer rubies because the magic erasers work really well with the slime. And like when you squish them, it's like <gasps> it does a thing that everyone likes and it pops. And mine doesn't. But you take away the fact that it's meant to go like that and pop. Then these work really well. And they don't flatten. And magic erasers do. So you can kind of play with them more. I love both of them, they're my favourite, I cannot decide. I love that one because it's more stretchy and I love the feeling of that one better than this one. And I like these because they crunch and what really did, it's really cool. I can't seem to do it though. But on to the next one. Okay, let's go. So now it's Ruby's turn. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to swap. I didn't know, wait, no, swap, yeah. Mm. Let's have a look what I got. Ooh. I got a magic erasers! She's happy. So sponge wipes, but I think these can work pretty good. They're colourful. There they are. Glue. So we've got some, this is the same as last time. Ooh, some food dye. Ooh, got blue food colouring. I'm very, very suspicious. 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 <laughs> then we've got the right carbonate of soda and the eye wash. This is what I got, and I got the cheap one, but I'm pretty excited to be honest. So for this round, I got the expensive supplies. So now we're going to pour in the glue. Hello. <laughs> I'm not going to like mix it as much because I want it to be clearer than before. Let's put either carbonate and soda in. <laughs> so I'm going to do one up to the line. I'm going to do up to the line as well because I kind of overactivated the last Same one. Same. We both so kind it was of like, overactivated it. Um, totally. 
I'm just going to mix it in. I don't want to put too much air in it. Same, it's really annoying. It will be clear tomorrow. It was clear when we put, first put the glue in. This isn't completely done. I need a bit more. And now it's pulling away. Yeah, and mine's like already like it. I think mine's literally stuck on. I'm going to go in my hands, you know. So we've just got the slime out to basically play with it. So now we're going to put this slime aside and cut up our sponges and magic erasers to turn it into jelly key of slime. I'm going to use one again. This feels so cool. I love this feeling of sponges. These are so cool. These are actually so fun to cut, like the sound. Listen to the sound. They're flying everywhere. I've got loads. I think I've got too much. <laughs> Here on the moon. There they are. And there's nothing in this hand. Or is there? <laughs> These things honestly squish so much so I can see why they make like that awesome noise because they've got loads of air in them. Same with me, there's nothing in my hand. Where's that? We are both planning on dyeing these. Why I'm dyeing something that's blue? It's for cutting onto it to be darker and less like a sponge and more like something in slime. Whoops. How you do this is you put as much as you want of the food colouring in your thingy and then put these in for a few minutes. So let's do it. I don't know how much to put in, I'm scared. That good? I, I don't know, I often <laughs> That's a lot. It. Is it? I'm I don't scared. know. I'm, this looks very pigmented. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's really pretty. I know. Mine looks the same as yours. My mum just got us a jug of water and we're going to add some to here. Do you want to go first? No, I want, I want you to go first okay. actually. I did add a tiny bit of red to this because I wanted like kind of a purple colour. Mine look lighter blue than yours now. Yeah, we have noticed that. But mine had a bit more colouring in, and I think this is more pigmented. I do want to show you the colour, but I don't think we can, because it's just going to tip will everywhere. It spill and everything will get dyed. I'm scared. Let's, okay, put, let's it just put them in. What the? That I think I need to add more water, because it doesn't look like anything's really happening. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh. This is the general colour of mine right now, but it's not dyed This yet. is mine, it's like kind of dying a bit. The colour that mine used to be, and this is the colour that it is now, it's definitely changed, and I'm going to take them out now. So I'm just squeezing them, and it does change colour once you squeeze them. This is when you've not squeezed it, and you have, but I love the colour. So mine have been sitting here for about five minutes, so now I'm going to take them out. Let's have a look. These didn't change colour as much as like I'd hoped, but they did change to like more of a blue colour. It's marble kind of. It's marbled, yeah. So we just compared mine to the sponge and they didn't really change. They are softer, but <laughs> mine did work. They got a little bit darker. I can't find the other ones, but they were about a little bit lighter and they definitely worked. It did work. <laughs> They're cheap as well. Let's put them in the slime. I'm so excited. I'm flattening it and like the blue is coming off my hands into the slime. So that's quite cool. Ready to add them? Let's do this. Take them out. You've got a mountain. Let's fold them over. That is... This crunches. Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is actually so good. It's so pretty as well, like the blue. I want to see if that works with this one. They might. It pop. This is Rayleigh's, but I think yours is so nice. This one is actually really nice as well. It's like, the slime itself is quite stretchy, but so is mine. And the cubes in it do feel really nice. They don't feel the same as these ones. I think they're more heavy. And these ones were from Tesco and there were four in a pack. There was a pink, a blue and two yellows. They were one pound and they pop so well. Honestly, like if you can't find magic erasers, these would work as a good substitute and they work just as well. Same as last time. So these are our second slime. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. these are so stretchy, so amazing. But this was our second slime, and on to the third one. So, can you get a key or switch? I kept it last time, so I'm gonna switch it this time. Okay, wait, okay. you have to look faster. So, these were all my supplies together, and I guess I got the cheap ones because I didn't get the magic erasers. But I'm really excited to see how this one works because it looks like it's gonna do well. Okay, so it's time for my turn. So we've got magic erasers, and these are the white ones that we used before. 
Glitter glue, it's so pretty. That's really pretty. And we also got the bicarbonate soda, which was the expensive one, and the eye wash. Okay, so this is my supplies. It's gonna look really pretty with the glitter glue, but you have glitter as well. Yeah, I can do something cool with mine. So now it's the final round. Let's get started. I'm curious to see how much slime yours is gonna. Oh, <gasps> that looks so pretty. It's like holographic. Got it all out, and I'm just gonna show you. It's so pretty, guys. Can you see that? Yeah, that's so pretty. And we're going to add our bicarbonate soda. Yeah, and I'm so excited to see because we've never used glitter glue before and I want to see if it actually works. Yours is like holographic and it is really pretty. This is so pretty. Ooh. I don't know if this is going to work and I'm so scared if it doesn't work. Ooh. I'm going to add less than I did before because when I did it before, we overactivated Ooh. a bit more. I'm just adding a bit more. <gasps> yes, it's working. It's actually working. <gasps> Yes, I was so scared that it wasn't going to work. This is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I'm so happy that that worked and it's so This is so pretty and stretchy and it's not overactivated. It's so lovely. I love Mine's it. Mine's like quite sticky right now because I want to keep it sticky. But I'm going to add some glitter and food colouring now. Yeah, so I'm going to pour less than a cap filling because I don't really want it red. I prefer it pink. <laughs> this does not look appealing right now. But it will. Halloween slime. It's unactivated itself. It does not look good right now. Can you help me with the activator? So you want half up there? Yeah. Yes, please. Pour it in. Yours is going to be pretty, I can tell. Help me with the activator, please. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. How much do you want? All of that? Yeah, a lid full. So now my slime's done, and it's not the prettiest of colours, but the slime itself has got a really nice texture. So I'm going to add some glitter and... There isn't a blue in here, but I'm going to add a red to start with to see if I can fix the colour. <laughs> Pour this glitter. It looks pretty cool. That's probably going to make it really pretty. I hope it does. Because the texture of this slime is amazing. That is really pretty though. Once you add all the glitter, it's probably going to be amazing. It's like Ruby! Yes, I, that was intentional. <laughs> was it? No. I'm pouring the whole thing in. Whoa. Whoa, it's going to be a super glittery slime. I like red. But now I've added all of the glitter, I actually added the whole pot. The slime is really nice and I really like the slime now. I think, I think the colour improved and it's got a really nice texture so now it's just a good slime. Mine's a bit stiff but it's still the prettiest colour. This is the expensive one but it is stiffer but for a first try with glitter slime I think it's actually really good. Now we're going to add the sponges. This one might be a bit hard to cut. It's really cool. That actually cut really well. Whoa, what happened? I'm really surprised. This is cutting so well. Whoa, better than this. So now we've cut all of the magic erasers and all the sponges up. And these were surprisingly easy to cut. They did take longer than the magic eraser, but it was bigger. And since these, this is our last round, I decided to do very much more like cubes. I'm really excited for this bit. Okay. I'm gonna make a pile, like a mountain. I just made a mountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this slime is a lot stickier than the ones before. I didn't want to activate it as much. Let's clench it. Ready guys? So we've both added all of our um, sponges and magic erasers and mine turned out really well. Mine didn't turn out as well as hers. Really unhappy with that, but it is a bit stiff. But it's the beautifulest colour ever. This is my first time making glitter glue with slime. I wouldn't get the glitter glue if I was you, but if you want to, you can. The magic erasers are actually really nice. But these work just as well, especially the last one. It was 40p and it worked. It's so stretchy and it does like do that crunchy thing. So these are all of our jelly cube slimes together. And we both agreed on each one for each like group that we did. So for my one, we both agreed that this one's the best one. It's more stretchy and both of these are quite stiff, but this is the expensive one. But I think it's better. Out of mine, we agreed that this one was the best. This was a cheap one. This red one uses the cheap sponges and we thought they were just as good as the expensive one. That's the end of us making our jelly cube slime. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. That was a lot of fun. It was. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video, comment suggestions on future videos, videos. 
and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one. Bye! Hold up! To finish this video, we're going to mix all of our slimes together to make one big jelly cube slime. So 